Victorians living with mental illnesses have praised a housing model they say is improving their health. The permanent supervised accommodation was developed by Alan Fells, the former chairman of the ACCC, who is motivated to help his daughter who lives with schizophrenia. Madeline Slattery has more. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> if home is where the heart is, Isabella Fells has found hers here at the Haven Foundation. Oh, it's lovely. I'm glad you like it. The South Yarra accommodation is home to 14 residents, all of whom have a severe mental illness. In Isabella's case, it's schizophrenia. She was diagnosed 20 years ago. Failure to connect with people. Um impulses to throw myself down the stairs or fly out through windows. Um, I had to be hospitalised. I was a danger to myself. But since moving here, things have improved. The residents have their own apartments, share communal living spaces and have 24-hour care. Every resident has an individual uh, support worker. They pay about a quarter of their disability support pension as rent. The concept was partly developed by Isabella's father, Alan Fells, the former chairman of the ACCC. She's happy here. Uh, life was a misery before that. Around 3% of the population has a severe mental health illness, costing the Commonwealth Government $10 billion last year. Over 50% of the population who are homeless are people living with a severe me mental illness. Uh, there is a fair proportion of people in uh, prisons. Because this model has been so successful, it's being replicated right around the country with similar programs introduced into New South Wales, Queensland and Tasmania. The plan now is to expand services across Victoria with hopes to build additional centres over the next few years. It's also cost-saving for governments. It keeps people out of hospital or very expensive care or even in some cases prison or homelessness. That's going to take off, I'm sure. Madeline Slattery, 9 News.